Hello and welcome to me playing Monster Loves You. This is, as far as I can tell, a choose-your-own-adventure about a little baby monster trying to make his way in the world of other bigger, scarier monsters, maybe. Uh, I like choose-your-own-adventures. This I read the description of this and it was like a dollar on Steam. That sounded uh, like my thing. Uh, playthroughs are only supposed to be about half hour, 40 minutes, so uh, I might record a couple of these, just depending on how things turn out. So, I guess these are Chivos, maybe? Yeah. Let's get started. Long ago, deep in the forest of monsters, in the, the forest of monsters, I can't read, um, for anyone out there wondering. The forest monsters call the whale mist. That's right, long ago, in the heart of the forest was a monster village of Omen. I guess that's where I live. You were born from slime that holds the memories of monsters known for actions and attitude. You're not awake yet, but soon your first eye will open. Oh, is this, this, this me? Cute little guy. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. You dream of... Facing frightening enemies unafraid. Your body is turning and twisting, growing solid in the middle of a great vat of green slime. It's time to be born. Start it off with some bravery. Let's be born. You awaken in the thawing season, when the ground is soft and wet. Onward! Your eye is open. You're a morsel, just barely born. You float in the spawning vat. Other, others, dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing, and stealing food from each other. Ah, uh, let's try to swim. Another morsel swims towards you. It opens its mouth to show a set of small, sharp teeth. It bites you. This is intolerable. Stop that biting. <laughs> you pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat you. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Uh, rah! You rip into the violent morsel. It has fangs, but you have claws! Your first snarl. Excellent! When the fight is over, you're chewing on the other morsel's eye, which is all that remains. Serves you right, you a-hole. Splash, flutter, splish, squeak! Another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking towards the bottom of the spawning vat. Uh, too bad, but these things happen. Aww. Uh, hmm. You gaze unblinking as the little morsel dies, the weakling's limbs stick to the slimy clumps on the bottom, then tear away from its body. The little morsel's mouth forms a terrified toothless O and then splits in three directions, forming the center of the fault lines that destroy its torso and head. <laughs> the last you see of the morsel is its eye, which, now without a lid, floats there, seeming to stare right back at you. Then it dissolves into sludge, and the sludge dissolves into nothing. We all have to go sometime. You have grown too big for the spawning bat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monsterling. You're going to get into some trouble, which is great! Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness, and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Indeed, to the brood cave and adventure. So, eight days left. Top bit shows how many days you have until your next stage of life, and the bottom shows how much respect you have amassed. Zero points. Let's respect. Impress other monsters, and they'll talk about how amazing you are. 
The more respect you gain in early stages of life, the greater power you'll wield later on. Okay. What do these thingies do? Capacity to overcome fear and intimidation. Nine out of a hundred. Cleverness with brain is how strong your mind is and how well you can suss out nonviolent solutions to problems. That one's probably not going to be very high, at least in this run. Sometimes you need to be cruel. Yep, that one's probably going to be one of my higher ones. Honesty. You're known for truthfulness, loyalty, and commitment to justice. If you're known for honesty, you will others will trust you more. Nine out of hundred. Kindness, also for this run, probably not going to be too high. Though I may kind of end up being a tough enforcer of justice. Let's go on an adventure and find out. Choose adventure. On a walk around the cave, you notice a closed door set in the back of a wall. You don't remember seeing it before. Why would a closed door be in a cave? Because it's not a jar? Yuck. Ugh. There are scratching and growling sounds coming from the other side. Your pulse begins to race. Open the door and face what's inside. Gobclaws tumbles out covered in green goo. She got stuck inside a storeroom full of rotting algae scum. Hasn't anyone noticed this door before? Gobclaws raises one pincher and bless, blesses, blushes. It was covered with algae. I found it when I ate the stuff. Uh, okay, so I can go on one adventure takes away a day. So I need to choose, and there are one, two, three, eleven. There are twelve that you can do in eight days. So let's try this one. Bliss tree climbs on top of the lo lichen pile. <clears throat> she refuses to let any other monsterling eat, proclaiming, proclaiming. I'm just going to keep doing this. <clears throat> proclaiming herself ruler of the li lichen pile. She's an idiot. Find an elder to stabilize the pile. Gang up on her. Farasata. You charge at Bliss Tree like a whirling ball of claws. Your ferocity is so manifest that as she leaps down and glides away, she nearly soils herself. Now you can be a ruler of the lichen pile. Still no respect. Interesting. Uh, this one? Nash Nash. Spies a delicious mouse head mushroom. <clears throat> Mine, she plucks it from the floor, but it tumbles from her claws and bounces into a dark crevice in the wall. Um, what just happened? Oh. Okay. The choices seem to each have. I huh, should have figured that out earlier. So let's do this one. Adult monster sleeps in a big pile of monsterlings. Everyone is comfortable. <laughs> Spaced out for a second. Blots giggling sticks lichen in all four of Hamrag's nostrils. Hamrag's eyes shoot open, and he's as he starts to choke, Blots shushes you with a threatening scowl. on Hamrod's head and knocks some of the lichen loose. He squeals and gasps, then remembers 
that he can breathe through his mouth. Hammer glowers down past his jowls, scowling as though you hadn't saved him. He roars and demands to know who plugged up his nose. Hemrak seems to smell your lie. The monster traps you under a heavy rock and sits on it for a while as punishment blots approaches you afterwards and offers a quiet thank you for protecting him. Still no respect. Way towards leaving, becoming an adolescent. Firm up your personality as much as you can. Three eyed goat. Sounds like a good time. <clears throat> Marinus leads a group of monsterlings to Scrape Goat's Pit in Portrait. Por Portent Square? Uh, look for trouble. Wasn't quite what I was going for. Just as you spy a pile of delicious looking grubs in somebody's garden, you notice that Marinus is looking at you. She seems slightly concerned. frowns as you clutch the squirming mass of pale tasty larva. <clears throat> the elderling uh, elderlings god why am I even trying to read at this point the elder and all the monsterlings watch you devour one grub after another they seem shocked that you're not hiding your actions <laughs> hey some of those monsterlings are too cool to care you know Marinus sends you back into the cave, shaking her huge spiny head. And you don't get to meet the scrape goat today. On the other claw, you got a nice meal. Speaking of that, when the other monsters get back and a few of them demand some of those grubs from you, of course you have none left to share. You wanna fart? The other monster leans back away. They're too tired from their day. Claws win again. I'm quite ferocious and brave. Some monsterlings gather at the cave entrance to watch the sunrise. Suddenly a tall figure appears from the bushes. Its shadow stretches towards you with a knife. Uh, what is it? It's so big. Bigger than mon six monsterlings, and so tall and thin, walking on two legs. Blister Blistree squeaks, It's a human! Most of the monsterlings flee into the cave, but Weemy trips and his ankle goes crack. The tall creature starts at the sound, then walks towards you with long strides. Stay and help, I guess. Stand over him. He's small enough to carry, but there might not be time. Pick him up and go. Footsteps come closer, closer. Tall, skinny elder comes into the cave. Old Thaldris looks more like a stork than a human now that she doesn't have the sun behind her. Laugh it off. Two days left. Uh, 
Nash Gash and Gob Claws are racing <coughs> to the ceiling of the cave. They've already climbed way up when Gob Claws invites you to join them. You don't see a good way up, though. Day left. Let's let's pick this one. You and Nash Gash spot Blister and Smart playing a game. Nash Nash says, "I got an idea." Right, what's the idea? The mushrooms here, they're tasty and they won't miss a few if we take them. What's so special about the mushrooms? Fair enough. Sure. Read closer to the game, Blizz Train Smart. We're trying to figure out some rules about placing the mushrooms with spots on them. They don't notice you. Mushrooms from the edge of the playing area and slink away. They're pretty tasty, though a little musty. I guess I can do one more. Yeah. You wake up and find that you're no longer a little monster. Like you're growing up. <clears throat> oh, throat hurt a little bit there. <clears throat> Elder Marinus calls. The oldest monsterlings to gather in a group. You're one of the oldest ones now, so you should join them. She looks grave. Shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that among dozens of forking passages. Keep going. Marna stops in a warm, humid chamber with a pit in the floor. She points to the pit, which sees with thick mist. YOLO! You fall and fall some more and fall and you're falling and other monsterlings are falling yes some of them are crying and though you can't see through the mist or is it fog maybe clouds moans and groans and whispering screams where is this it must be somewhere you land on a smooth flat stone Despite the swirling vapor, the floor is dry as a bone. You hear other monsterlings breathing nearby. Some of them are still above you, still falling. Get out of the way. <sighs> you rejoin some of the monsterlings at the age. Okay. Edge of the mist. There are more passages out of here than you can count. Some monsterlings begin to panic while others look determined. Take charge. Brr. The other monsterlings watch you curiously. I have seen monsterling whisp whimpers in the fog, and you flick your claws, drawing little blood and a lot of noise. A few howls and shrieks cow the others into silence. Well, now that that's done, you soon discover that all the passages converge, and yet, jeez. Con Converge in yet another mist-filled cab chamber, not cavern. The mist here is even thicker, and you quickly lose sight of the other monster lines. Whatever. Chamber swirls with mist, smoke, fog, vapor, except it's not any of those things. It's ghosts, hundreds of them, large and small. They're everywhere. One by one, the pale ghosts begin to turn their attention to you. Their eyes glow different colors. Stand fast. The ghosts speak in many voices, all hollow and distant. In unison, they ask, Do you fear? Attack them. <laughs> you scream and leap. The ghosts are insubstantial, swirling around your claws like nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. 
stupid spectral monsters. Prove that they're not entirely untouchable, then tendrils. I guess I pass out. End of monsterling hood. How you're doing? So I was shooting for these, and they're high. So that's good. That's what I was going for. Uh, 